Welcome to another Terranscapes video. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this short as I've got a whole bunch of uh, videos that I want to put up. So uh, bear with me. Hopefully I can uh, address all the key points. Uh, and as you know, I tend to be a little verbose, so I'll try and keep it short. Uh, today's uh, video is uh, two new releases. Um, the first is an am uh, sort of a fuel depot, if you will. I had a customer who requested this as he was um, looking for objective markers to use, I believe, in his 40K game. And so I, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So I put together just a simple set of barrels with a little uh, crate at the bottom just to break it up a little bit. And I added in some rust effects on them. Uh, I took some of the spots that, you know, maybe had a little nick from the casting and added a little extra rust to accentuate that and really bring it into the piece rather than make it a defect. And uh, overall, they came out pretty well. Nice, simple piece. Um, I did a couple colors for the barrels. And uh, this way, they don't all look, you know, perfectly uniform, but, you know, nothing too garish so that they all kind of go together. And uh, I actually assemble these um, uh, piece by piece. They're just glued together. Um, that way I can paint them a little bit more easily so I don't have to worry about getting, you know, whoops, there we go, in between cracks and the like. Uh, so these are going to go up on the site. It'll be a set of two or three of these stands, and they should show up in the next couple days. The other thing that I wanted to showcase today is something that I actually did for TempleCon <sighs> way back. And I haven't gotten up, so that was in February, and now it, we're almost in May. So you can see why I've decided, well, I might as well just put at least one of these up. I have another building that's a little bit larger than this that I want to showcase. Uh, but this building is a multi-mold, if you will, piece uh, based on Hearst Arts mold. I wanted to put together a variety of the molds available, since I've been collecting quite a few of them and have them available in the store, to really showcase some of the possibilities that you can do with them. And I wanted some kind of buildings to put on the table that would be a little bit more dramatic than some of the previous offerings. I thought also that, you know, as a finished piece, uh, this, this building weighs about six pounds in plaster. Uh, it takes a while to assemble it and to paint it, so it is going to be a little expensive. But if you're interested in getting your own casts and building your own buildings, this really showcases what a diversity of molds can provide for you in terms of creative flexibility in the layout of your building. So I'll run through a little bit of the molds that I used for this, and that'll give you a sense of maybe some of the things that if you wanted to build it yourself, what you could use. The base of the building here, the square uh, section, is really based on the Wizard's Tower mold. It produces a very simple structure. It's easy to build. It's a great starting place if you haven't, um, if you haven't built with any Hearst Arts kits. And then I used some of the buttresses from the Gothic Church to flank that a little bit and give it a little bit more of a dressed up corner on those sides. Then, um, and these are from the Wizard Tower, these faces, which are really quite nice adornments. Let's see if I can get you to focus that nice and close. There we go. On top of that, a little bit more from the Wizard's Tower mold, plus the three-inch uh, turret mold. The three-inch turret mold can be used to build its own tower, but it can also be used to build um, uh, turrets that come off of the top of buildings. And so it also um, is topped with uh, caps that match the Wizard Tower caps, so it makes a nice smooth transition between the two pieces. In the back side of it, we have the uh, turret mold again, making a three-inch column goes up the back of it. And the turret column, uh, the, um, the turret uh, tower also includes these uh, window opening uh, pieces. And then at the top, I have a four-inch tower, which I've put on top and then dressed with both the four-inch tower corner pieces as well as the wizard tower pieces. And then on top of that, I really wanted to build these buildings just to showcase this. This is the new conical roof mold that her starts uh, that Bruce has released. The conical roof mold comes in either slate or wood, and uh, I opted for, for the slate here, paint it up a little bit of blue, give it a little bit of color for the overall model. It's a very easy mold to build with, and it's really uh, flexible in terms of the size. It does extend out to a 6-inch as well as to an 8-inch tower uh, dimension, but I think the 8-inch tower is going to look a little bit... Uh, a little bit big as the, as the you know, this is going to be a large cone, although the 8-inch tower is a huge building. I don't have that mold at the moment, but, um, you know, perhaps on that size building, that large of a tower top uh, conical roof is going to work well. Comes with a nice little dress piece there that, um, there we go, focus on that. And it just tops that cap. So 
really, you know, when you take a look at this building, it just showcases, again, that diversity with a variety of casts from a variety of molds. You can really put together some unique structures that, you know, reflect your own uh, flavor, your own tastes, and, um, you know, really dress up the battle top. Uh, the battlefield, I should say. One last comment on this before I go, though, is um, you may notice that I put in some doors. These are some doors that I designed, and I'm casting these in plaster and then inserting them in and painting them. And these doors are now going to be standard on all of the buildings uh, that are produced by the Hearst Arts Mold. That way, um, I can, uh, I've always felt like the openings just needed a little door, and I didn't have one, so I decided to just go ahead um, sculpt one and then start casting it. So that will show up and I'll put a note on the page that um, any future towers, even if they're not shown with a door opening, will be built to accommodate that door and it'll be painted in a variety of colors to reflect the kind of style of the building and just add a little variety. So, there's two quick new releases for you. Keep an eye on the site and terranscapes.com. These will have po uh, photos posted and uh, they'll have photos of, of, usually I include figures just to give you a little sense of scale. Here's a uh, there's a, whoop, wait a minute, let's see here, I'll tip it, whoop, <laughs> there's a Lord of the Rings ring wraith just to give you a sense of the size of the building. Um, it's a quite, quite a large substantial structure, I forget the exact measurements, perhaps 11 inches high, so something that really will pop out on the tabletop, give your games a little more flavor. Um, and of course, when you go to terranscapes.com, you'll see that I have a page with all the Hearst Arts molds that I have available that I can cast from. And uh, right now, castings are taking me a little bit longer than I originally had planned uh, because um, I am backlogged with a lot of work. And so um, expect, depending on the size of your order, between two and three weeks to get your casts. And uh, if you have uh, special requirements, you can always contact me. There's contact information at the site, and uh, we can always work something out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be talking to you real soon, because I definitely have more videos I need to put up.